Just a quick video. I bought myself an Andon Star microscope. And it has a screen, which is quite nice to use. And uh, so I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, so you can hook up uh, HDMI, uh, full HD, and your SD card, and AV. And also you can hook up the computer right now. And the thing comes with a USB dongle, like this one, which is connected up here in my power supply. So I don't need a power supply. I just use basically a standard USB power supply. And then the thing is powered. And I put, back, put it back together with this one. And I can store it away in my shelves. So, so I thought I was just going to show you how it works. Because if you remember in my early videos, I um, or two videos ago or so, I had a bit problem with soldering this one. And the microscope that I have. It is... Uh, it's actually raining outside. <laughs> That's why there's a noise Now the this one, it's actually not that bad, but the, the the mount and everything is horrible. And also, I had trouble uh, with uh, one millimeter pitch. Now I'm going to solder 0 0.5 millimeter pitch. So good luck with that. <laughs> so that will be a problem. So and another thing I'm going to show you under microscope is this one. Uh, just a pie hat board and then also pollen so this is pollen I uh, we have had a lot of pollen now so <laughs> I'm really struggling here so yeah so let's turn it on I'm going to actually record Ooh, going to record it at the same time so what you do you basically just press this one the lights come on like this Okay, so what you do, you can uh, take it up and down, and then you can focus. So now it's just focusing on the bed. Also another feature, which is nice, is that it has this um, angled side here, so you can have a... You can push things even deeper. So, so let's first try the pie board. There's a cool guy on it, so let's see what it looks like. There you go, so let's uh, start recording. It comes with a remote. So I think what you need to do here is... I've forgotten how to do this. So... It shouldn't be that hard. Okay, now it's recording. I just pressed OK, actually. OK. <laughs> so it has a little red flashing dot there. So that's it. So you can uh, move it out if you want more working space for your uh, soldering. And uh, the delay here is also very insignificant. So yeah, so there you can see the, that one. Let's look at the uh, soldering here that I had trouble uh, looking between the pins. And I think this is the place. Uh, no, here, U13, uh, U3, actually. So let's look here. Now it's a lot of dirt there. But now we can get in closer. So I think, don't think you can get all the way in. And what you do then is just focus and then you pull back a little. So now you can see clearly between the pins. There's no doubt about it. So. I think that's uh, really, really cool. So, okay, so now we have looked at that. Look at this one also. It's not that interesting. You can see the skid marks. Now let's look at pole, which has been bothering me. So I'm going to have to pull it out here. Let's see that. Try not to. Yeah, here's yellow. <laughs> I was trying to find pole, and I thought, okay, I have this. Uh, tissue or what it's called so there you go nasty pollen so and you can focus so and another thing you can do on this uh, screen is that it's, it's not that sharp as if I had a HD screen so what I do I basically just press uh, I have to stop the video first Okay, so what I do is that I uh, just press this one, 
it magnifies and presses like 10 times or something maybe 20 yeah so so I get a digital zoom but it's uh, enough for me when I sit close to it I can actually work I don't need a big screen I can just use this screen so so it's a bit slow user interface but that's perfectly fine it's I haven't had any issues with this so yeah thanks for watching hope you found that interesting I put some link in the description box below like and subscribe if you like the video and uh, all that stuff so thank you very much for watching bye bye